Hey guys, what's going on? Luis here again, and I wanted to make a video on why you should do the things that you don't want to do. And obviously this is difficult and it's hard, but when you're trying to get to a different level, you have to change your mindset and the way that you think about things. So your mind has a tendency to be intellectually consistent, right? So what this means is that whatever you think your identity is, you will operate accordingly. Let's give an example of going to the gym, right? If you believe that you are not jacked or you're not fit, then you're going to act accordingly, right? So you are going to essentially just stay home and do as people that are not active or are not fit typically tend to do, which is they stay at home or when they go to the gym, they just have a really hard time and they're not able to pull through all the way. Uh, another example is, you know, you've gotten a little comfortable with where you are in life and you believe that's your identity. So you stop trying to get to a different level and there's ways to kind of rewire your brain to thinking in different manners that are going to help you level up. Right. So for example, let's say, and this comes a lot of times simply from the way you look at things and the way that you talk to yourself and the way that you carry yourself around other people, but I think most importantly with yourself. So if you're constantly saying things like, I need to go to the gym or I need to work more uh, because I need to make more money or I need to do all these different things, you're thinking from a place of scarcity, which is being in a place where you lack something and you don't want to ever be in that place. You need to be thinking from a place of abundance kind of reframe where you're coming from to yourself, right? So instead of saying you're not jacked or you're not fit or you're not an active person, flip it around and, and think, you know, I'm a fit person and your body and your mind are going to start acting accordingly, right? So if you tell yourself that you're an active person, you're going to essentially start acting like so, right? So you're going to be more comfortable going to the gym because now suddenly you are an active person. If you are thinking from a place of abundance, right? You're thinking that there is everything in order for you to acquire or receive or get. So you're not lacking anything. And that's essentially where it comes down to. Um, so I was having that conversation with my friend and this is actually what he texted me. Your current subconscious believe is you need to be where you're currently at. And this this was the thing that kind of opened up my eyes and made me realize, okay, I'm, I'm thinking from a different perspective or a different point of view, right? So myself thinking, this is my identity and subconsciously you're gonna act accordingly. So you need to change your identity in order to change the way that you're operating. You think your reality is whatever you're living in now so your actions are aligned with the results, right? So same thing, you're gonna operate accordingly to whatever it is you think you are instead of the person that you want to become. There's a couple of things that you can do in order to kind of change how you're thinking and change the way that you view things. One of these things sometimes tends to be habit stacking. And a separate video I think on this topic specifically, but essentially habit stacking, for example, is when I first started reading, I actually was one of those individuals that just totally hated reading. I didn't like to sit down and read. I didn't, I didn't like to open up a book at all because I just found it really boring. And the way that I, got, I started reading and actually kept very consistent with it was by pairing it up with a different habit that I already had created. So every morning I get back home from the gym, I make a smoothie and then I drink it. Right. So that's already ingrained and well, all I had to do was decide, okay, when I drink this smoothie, I'm going to read. Now, every single day that's happened for the past three, four years or so at this point. Um, so you can do things like that that are going to change you to shift the way that you operate in order to get to that place where you want to be. And I eventually you're going to end up actually enjoying the things that you never wanted to do. Other benefits, of course, of doing things that you don't want to do come down to things like you become more consistent, you become more mentally 
uh, strong to overtake those things that you know are eventually going to take you to where you want to be. And it actually helps you build confidence as well, because when you're doing things you don't want to do, a lot of times it's coming from a place of not having confidence in how you're going to do it. And when you see yourself doing it, you start to learn that, okay, you actually have what it takes to essentially take that task on or take whatever it is that you never wanted to do and do it. And that starts to become a habit itself, which is really good. So if you guys have any questions or anything about this video, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget, do the things that you don't want to do. Think about what your identity is and how you're operating right now and try to think, okay, how can I change this thought, this belief into something new that is going to serve me better? Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe.